Rabbit by CarMax, Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Charles Barkley. You approve? I love you, Liberace. You look good. <laughs> look Those who don't know who Liberace is. Now everybody know who Liberace is. Not everybody. So give us <laughs> give us somebody recent. Yeah. Um, be recent? If it's not Liberace, who would be in recent? Uh, <laughs> the big wag. Well, Clyde Frazier. Clyde, the big, Clyde, the big Frazier. Clyde Frazier over there. That's, a, that's even a little tame for Clyde right there. But. Hey, you look good, Liberace. Hey, we welcome everybody. We, we, need, we need a piano. We welcome everybody who has been watching the Chicago Miami game. Yeah. Uh, won by the Heat, 112 to 91. So Miami advances to meet Boston Oof. for the third straight year. Oof, that's the last that's two not what you want the, under the Christmas in the, tree. In the conference finals. So uh, the Heat back in there. Meantime, here in the West, uh, here's the way the play-in bracket has played out with New Orleans losing to the Lakers the other night and uh, Sacramento knocking out Golden State. So that leaves us with the Kings and the Pelicans. And uh, can we get some music out of there? I, I think there may be some audio issues going on upstairs okay. because we're not hearing anything really. Oh, well, none of the none of the you know, Donzo. That guy upstairs name is Denzel. Nobody, it's Denzel. He just doesn't know how to spell. Nobody named their kid Denzel. No, mean, it's Denzel. Meantime, uh, put, here, here's the tale of the tape. No, I think people at home are probably hearing the music. We're just not hearing it. Oh, okay, okay. Coming. I was gonna give you some. Uh, five nothing for the Pelicans. One of those, one of those Pelican wins, and it came in Sacramento. Came without Zion Williamson, and they beat him by 33. So wow. what are what are we thinking tonight about New Orleans going perfect against Sacramento without Zion tonight, or Sacramento going into New Orleans and advancing to take on OKC? I'm thinking the New Orleans Pelicans. You know they were playing so well. Zion was having his best game of his career uh, with him being out for I don't know how long he's out. I think it's going to be a big blow for them, especially emotionally. And, you know, you beat a team five. Sacramento's at that point tonight where they really want to go to the playoffs. I don't know if New Orleans really wants to go to the playoffs without Zion. You know, I think they feel they could advance with Zion playing well all the time, with Brandon Ingram playing well. So with him not being there emotionally, it may be too much. But I think Sacramento wants to get there. They want to try to pick up where they left off last year, even though they're up and down also. But when you beat a team five times in a row, sometimes Long you get comfortable. Says. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, sometimes you get comfortable. Like, you know, we beat this team. We, you know, we uh, beat this team. And without Zion, it may be tough. And, you know, Sacramento's over there saying, you guys ain't got Zion. We know uh, y'all beat us like that one time before, but y'all ain't got Zion, y'all are cooked. So I'm going with Sacramento tonight by mm -hmm. double digits. Zion going to be reevaluated in a couple of weeks. What are you thinking, Chuckster? Well, I normally don't care who win these games, but I really want Sacramento to win tonight. Why? Because I think it'll be a better series against Oklahoma City because without Zion, Oklahoma City going to sweep the Pelicans. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. I think Sacra uh, Sacramento, with the weapons they have, it'll be an exciting series because I don't want Oklahoma City. I want them to have a test. It would be a great test if they had Zion, but without Zion, I think they get swept. So, uh, like I say, I normally don't care who wins, but I would like to see Sacramento and Oklahoma City, and I because you're going to need, like, two or three scoreboards because it would be the high-scoring games. It'd be fun, but like I say, it's really unfortunate that it's really unfortunate that Zion got hurt because, you know, like I say, it'd be, I think it'd be an easy series for Oklahoma City. I just want to see a competitive series because every series in the West is crazy. It's, it's like every series in the West is going to be crazy. I cannot wait for this weekend. All right, Jet. Thank you. Um, <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Maybe I missed it. Have they give a timetable? Two weeks. He just said it. 30 I, seconds I, I said, a game, fool. I, I said maybe because I listened to air things weren't working. <laughs> so I don't need it. wasn't my fault. I couldn't hear things. I couldn't hear air things when he talked. I couldn't hear hey. could hear. So two weeks. But Kenny, I, I, I'd say this. Kenny is good looking. Yeah, uh, I heard that. Oh, see, you can hear that. <laughs> I can hear that. I <laughs> they fixed it on, right in time. But uh, <laughs> right on time. But, you know, for me, um, this is still a pick em game only because of the what what the um, Sacramento Kings are good at really doesn't negate what C.J. McCollum, Brandon Ring Ingram, and the rest of the uh, New Orleans Pelicans can do. They really don't stop you from getting to the rim. You could get 15-foot jump shots. 
if you can hit those consistently. And this guy is a, is a, a prolific scorer. So in a one-game scenario, qu qu question they Kenny. could win. I said the other night with Sacramento, Keegan uh, would be the difference in the 100%. game. 100%. And he was the difference. He had 100%. to get 30. I'm looking at the Pelicans. They got two guys can get me 30. Yeah. Who, in your opinion, and that's, that's what I've been thinking about but all they day. they got to get you 30 because CJ played terrible. Today. I know, no, but I'm saying even if CB and Brandon get you 30, who on that team? Trey Murphy. Trey Murphy. Trey Murphy? Okay. Trey Murphy is the guy uh, who. But uh, again, you know, CJ has to get you 30. You know I, I, you? No, but, no, no, but I'm saying. If he does. I'm saying yes. best case okay. scenario, that's only 60, and obviously we can count. But, like, somebody else for them, and you said, you said okay. I say Trey Murphy, but I also feel that Alvarado's pace can get easy baskets and get other guys 12 that wasn't wouldn't get 12. Okay. So if he creates the pace and, and kind of puts De'Aaron Fox somewhat on the defensive end on defense and not only playing offense, then I think that's when it, it really is going to help them. C.J. McCollum, by the way, against Sacramento in those five New Orleans wins this year, average 26, shot 60% from the field. He's going to get more tonight. 70% from three. He, he's going to get more yeah. tonight. Yeah, well, he, yeah, he, and Ingram, he and Ingram are going to have to lot. I, I'd like, to come I, up. I, I'm curious to see big. how Keegan Murray is going to come out tonight I, I, after so, a big one. Yeah. Because for me, you, you know this, Shaq, you are a great player, so you ain't, like, if you were a guy like yourself who was a good player, and you had a great game. You know you can't wait to get to the game the next night, right? Well, well, I, I think I was better than Keegan. I'm sorry. I think overall, for Keegan Murray, his 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 aggressiveness cannot only be there when Monk is out. To me, it's he's he's had games like this, and it's always been because someone's out. Yeah, and I think he has to learn to be that guy when they're yeah, at full like, strength. What I like about the way he played last night, it wasn't forced. Right. The ball comes your way, just be aggressive, take a shot, and make the next play. Like, if he goes out and try to be forceful and, like, oh, I'm the man now, hit 30, he's going to have a terrible game. But if he lets the game come to him and just take the shots, you know, like, like we had in the highlights. The, he's so, have so me, Shaq, Shaq, Shaq always talk about the others. This to me is an others game. Because when I look at, when I was looking at this thing on paper today, I says, well, Ingram and McCullum going to do their thing. Sabonis, so De'Aaron going to do their thing. It's going to be who, what well, other who, what does other Keegan guys have another game. Does Trey Murphy have? Yes, a, that's have a, a this game, game is all about the yeah. others because those the stars are going to play well tonight because they have to. But it's going to be about who's going to step up and help those guys. And and, and, and Ernie, we have time. Uh, yeah, okay, go you real go. quick. Well, I, I think because it's it, those two guys, Keegan and also Trey, because of their size, they play off the catch. So they catch if you if you off them, they shoot it. You run at them they go by you, but they don't really play off the dribble. So that's why it's important for who, whichever player hits their first couple of shots because now you have to defend them differently when they're shooting the ball well. Uh, with that being said, new customers, by the way, on FanDuel and can go on their own playoff run. Just place any $5 bet and you'll get $150 in bonus bets, win or lose. Scan the QR code now to download the FanDuel Sportsbook app. Here's the uh, same game Barclay. I want to see the, the money, night. Ernie. Huh? I want to see Chuck's money. Well, Stop it. FanDuel killed my money, Jack. Uh, I, I agree so with you, Jack. Six or more assists for De'Aaron Fox. Uh, Demonis Sabonis <laughs> scoring at least 20. Keegan Murray hitting a couple of threes. Brandon Ingram scoring at least 20. By the way, on Keegan Murray, want a little nugget? Yes. Okay, two, year, two seasons in the league, 389 threes made is the second most for somebody in the first two years of their Ernie. career. Just, Who is at the top of that list? It's not Steph. It, no, it's not. It's not Steph. J.J. Redick. It is not J.J. Redick. I would say uh, it is... Dennis Scott. It Ray is Allen. Not Dennis Scott. Who is it? it Glenn Ray. Rice. You're not going to venture a guess? Clay Thompson. No, Dame Lillard. By hey, the way, who had hey four, Ernie, just for the just for the record, that was a stupid question you asked earlier. People always want nuggets. The question with the little barbecue sauce. They got to have a little barbecue sauce too. No honey mustard. That Liberace outfit. Exactly. Exactly, Charlie. Exactly, Charlie. Ugly ass.